Good evening guys and happy Monday to all of your sunshiny face. <laughs> Charlie, were you very interested in the camera there? He's like, no, I'm not. I don't care about the camera. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi buddy. Will you give me a kiss? No, you're not going to give me a kiss. You're just going to stare at me. This is what happens when I normally wind up recording. Like, he is always staring at me and very intrigued by what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, it's funny because I can actually catch him on, on film doing it. But right now, I think he's got an itch and that's what he's, he's doing now. Um, but like I was telling you guys too, like whenever I end the vlog, it's hilarious because he always knows and... and <clears throat> like his ears perk up and like he pays attention because normally he knows like oh that means we're going to go and take a shower now so um yeah anyways happy monday guys today though it was monday i woke up kind of late it was weird this last week and like over last weekend and the week like prior like earlier that week um like i was actually up early and last weekend and then this past week like I woke up like the weekdays like last Monday basically a week ago all the way through I've been waking up really late and I think it was because I would go I was actually sort of going to bed a little later but waking up really early in the morning and so like on the weekends like Saturday and Sunday and so I was waking up really early but I was falling asleep like I was still going to bed late so I think I was really tired and then Monday I slept in super late and then I ended up like sort of like starting to wake up a little bit gradually earlier and like going to bed earlier like during last week and then this week it's the same thing happened like over the weekend I slept really bad like I was waking up really early and still going to bed somewhat late and then today again I like super overslept. Charles what are you doing now? Your face is so funny to me. <laughs> Honestly, too, guys. The camera, I feel like, picks him up and makes him look a lot darker than he actually is. But, like, you can't really see, like, his outline so much. Like, you just, you just see the outline. You can't really see any, like, definition, like, in his, like, fur and stuff like that. I feel like the camera doesn't do a great job of picking it up. He just looks like a head, just, like, sort of sitting here. Like, some regal dog. Is that what you are? He doesn't want to pay attention to me at all. He's just gonna keep a keep an eye out in the corner just to see what I'm doing and wondering why I'm recording him today. Now he's gonna go back to sleep. Um. Anyways, so but for it being Monday, actually, again, I woke up pretty late. I took care of the dishes and laundry this morning, and then um, I actually didn't. I was really bad yesterday, and one of the reasons why I ended up sort of staying up late was because I was watching Downton Abbey, and I ended up finishing the third season between yesterday and today. I finished the entire thing, and so I was like, honestly, I am probably going to be really bad and like not even edit today. I got it through editing two vlogs. I told you guys, I think I didn't edit all over the weekend so I was behind so I ended up doing that um while I was watching actually the Cubs game so I watched that and then I still ended up finishing finishing the entire third season today I think there's I don't know five seasons or six seasons or something like that or maybe there's seven I'm not totally sure eight maybe I don't know um anyways I know that there's at least a couple more seasons left and like I said I got through the third season already um and so yeah I'm like I in one day I finished in the entire season but I think there's only six seven episodes maybe or something like that um or no I'm sorry nine episodes in each season at least in the third season for sure um and so I think I watched like five yesterday and then four today um and like the thing is is that some of them are short they're only like 45 minutes long some of them are really long like the last one I think was an hour and a half or something like that so I was like oh like you know I can stay up and watch one more episode and I didn't realize it turned into an hour and a half of watching the one episode so like I said I ended up staying up a little late tonight again I think I had mentioned I sort of mentioned my meal plan that I was doing for this week and today I was going to do that beef and broccoli and I don't know why I was so nervous about it because I've never like 
like cooked it before. I've never cooked that type of meat that I bought either. It was supposed to be flank steak and I think I told you guys I picked up the wrong thing even though it was in the spot where it said it. I picked up sandwich steak which actually everybody said was really good. Like it wasn't chewy. It wasn't like super like you know like fatty either. Um, the like cut was really good and that it had like the perfect like like I, I sliced it up you know like beef and broccoli that it had a very good like consistency texture and stuff like that like for beef and broccoli and um so it actually worked out really well that I got that cut because it wasn't that difficult but the thing was was that actually the packet that I used for it called for like um I think three-fourths pound or something like that which I think I've got very close to is just a tad bit under a pound that I ended up getting but I actually think that I probably should have done more because there wasn't a whole ton to feed four people like in two you know Matthew and Jack who are still like you know I don't know if Matthew's really growing anymore he's sort of as tall as he's probably going to get but you know like um work and stuff like that and Jack and football and everything like that like they they put food away so um I was gonna say growing boys but yeah no Matthew's probably not like you know <laughs> getting much taller growing anymore um so anyways though but um like I said they they can definitely put some food away and so um I was like oh no like I feel like we didn't really have like enough like it was fine though because obviously it was with rice too um so I ended up doing that in the rice cooker and then I also steamed our home grown green beans in like the rice cooker steamer that we have um that we got from Aldi because I can do both at the same time I love that and then I ended up doing the beef and broccoli in um like in our walk actually that we got also from Aldi and so I used it in there and it actually worked out perfectly too but like I was telling you guys too I don't know why I was just so nervous about like cooking it because again I'd never cooked that type of meat before I'd never like and honestly too I don't cook a lot of like meat and stuff like that other than ground beef like on like the stove or, or even to in the oven I'm really more of a slow cooker type of person um or if not like if it's something that's like calls for like chicken like um or like shredded chicken or like um like cuts of chicken or whatever like I have several chicken casserole recipes that I do in the oven but I always pre-cook my chicken and normally I pre-cook it in the slow cooker and then I wind up adding it to like you know I'll freeze it like separately and then wind up adding it to the um the uh, what's it called like the uh, casserole or you know whatever I'm making and so like because one it cuts down on like some of the cook time and also two I don't have to double check and make sure that it's cooked like thoroughly because it's already cooked um so like you know and I don't wind up overcooking like the other ingredients possibly that goes with it when I'm cooking like you know with the chicken like say chicken for example because <clears throat> they have this one it's like chicken broccoli and rice kind of casserole i think the recipe actually does call though for the chicken to be pre-cooked but again i always just do it in the slow cooker anyway like really for almost whatever recipe just because i don't want to have to double check like and make sure that all this stuff is done because again too like if you get a different cut or a different slice like it might take longer so like if I get chicken breast I might have to cook it longer than if I got like chicken tenderloins or if I got like thin cut chicken breast or something like that like again that's just an example but you know knowing that I cooked pre-cooked it in the slow cooker and like diced it or whatever it is I know that it's done and cooked you know well and thoroughly and I don't have to double triple check it or whatever when I cook it like in the oven or something like that um and so like I said it just sort of makes my job easier when I do that and then too I don't have to worry about also too like making sure that it's defrosted and like all that kind of stuff like if it's just like a you know a meal that I'm making a slow cooker meal or whatever I can just throw it in the crock pot and so again, um, like all of all of those reasons are just why I prefer to do it that way. So I don't know why though, but I was just really freaking out about this. And I was like, I don't know, like I've never cooked this before. Like, and I used to like, especially right out of high school, I used to like experiment with all kinds of different recipes and different kinds of food and all kinds of stuff like that's like really where I feel like I first sort of started like cooking and everything. And then I just started to move into like simple things that I could make. And again, like fast sort of not fast but just like again simplistic sort of things and you know cooking and all that stuff but um like you know like I was saying I just did it 
too so that like I could do like a meal prep sort of things and you know like freezer dinners all that kind of stuff was when then when I started to get into that and then I realized like wow I can just do a whole bunch of freezer dinners all at one time and throw the stuff in the slow cooker and then you know just make my life a lot easier than cooking every single meal like from scratch um instead I can just take a bunch of time at one point and make a whole bunch of meals you know kind of from scratch and also depending on like what's on sale at what point you know and that kind of stuff it was just more convenient and time saving and um like money saving too so um like I said that's when I sort of switched to that was a little bit after that time but it's been a while since I've like done anything that's like a new recipe and not like a new recipe but like I've familiar with like making it but and I have a recipe where I've done it in the slow cooker I've just never like I said done it this way or with this type of like I said cut of meat like I think I used it was some type of sort of like beef and broccoli but I think I used like skirt steak or something like that and again I cooked it in the slow cooker and so like doing this though I was like I don't know why just really nervous about like cooking it and it all turned out really good and again everybody actually said that it was like really good like the meat like cut of meat which I was also nervous because I thought I got the wrong kind <laughs> and um like you know like that just everything ended up working out really well and was very flavorful and tasty and all that kind of stuff. And that was that packet of the, um, that was the recipe that I used that was on the back, was the packet that I used for the beef and broccoli. It wasn't like completely from scratch, <laughs> but um, that packet that I got from Meyer when I got it on sale with that deal I got it for like 50 cents or whatever it was and so since I saw the steak or um, you know like the sandwich steak was on sale even though it was supposed to be I think the sirloin steak or whatever it was um at, at Caputo's this week I was like that's the perfect time because that's like the cut that I'm supposed to use but again I got the sandwich steak which everybody actually said was really good and that they liked it so I don't think that it's the same like type or same cut as the one that I was planning on getting but the other one was something else and like I said I think it was actually a little bit thicker this was actually thinner and overall think I think that it worked out actually a little bit better like I said I probably would have just done a little bit more like done a little bit more than a pound like maybe a pound and a half or something like that like almost doubled what I ended up using anyway um and maybe added a little bit more broccoli I just used a frozen package of broccoli um because I didn't have any fresh broccoli but like I said that was what we ended up doing for dinner plus we had the salad too like from the garden from our uh, lettuce and um I also had cantaloupe that I cut up that was from like the cantaloupe I bought last week I ended up cutting that up the other day so that was still in the fridge and so we ended up having that and like I said the the green beans um from the garden which I need to go and pick more already are super long and big and <laughs> they need to be cut or um harvested some more of those too so there's some stuff that um like I said I can go out there and do but I think it's supposed to rain again on Wednesday so tomorrow might be one of uh, maybe I can try and go that outside on Wednesday and try and harvest those instead because it's easier though right after it rains because the leaves are kind of like droopy a little bit because they're heavy like from the rain it's actually easier for me to see in there and so that's why it either has to be after I've watered it or after the mother nature has watered it and it's rained um it makes it like I said just a little bit easier for me to find everything because when I harvested those on I think it was last Thursday I did um was my dad had just watered the vegetable garden so everything was like all soaked and wet and like I said the leaves were droopy so I could see into there a little bit better to see what I was picking um because when it's not the leaves of the stuff is like crazy all over the place so like I said that's why it ended up actually somewhat working out it's better <laughs> again I'm hoping that maybe on Wednesday if it does rain I can actually get in there a little bit like I said better to grab some more of those um but anyways I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys